Hey everybody, this is Broken, and I'm playing Banjo-Tooie. I'm hella excited about this one, because I already beat Banjo-Kazooie. And, uh, here we go. Let's see some cinematic -y whatever. Yeah, some banjos coming in. Yeah, see, yeah, right? Little, 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 little. Love that so much. There ah, you get it. Moving on. Alright. Oh, gotta trash that. A little bit of practicing. Don't hate. I actually didn't have the patience to practice the whole thing. Pretty sad. <laughs> Just was like, ah, forget it. Let's record it. I told myself I'd practice the whole thing. I'd be proficient on the world. I'd be smooth. I wouldn't die on this game's version of Rusty Bucket Bay eight times. And I didn't even get far enough to find the part that I'm going to get stuck on. <laughs> I got through one world. In my defense, though, this game is really angry at the emulator. It likes to crash it when you go from full screen to window, window to full screen, when you pause it, God, for any reason. I'm really nervous right now. Oh, oh crap, I'm store. <clears throat> uh, uh, granny right has been underground. We're all bummed out. Here's Klungo. This kills me, man. This whole time he hasn't snagged a pickaxe or a drill once. <laughs> He's just been doing this for two solid years. And the other thing that bothers me, this is like 150 yards from Banjo's house. Banjo, stop him! Oh my God. This woman tried to turn your sister ugly. You didn't get to see the game over screen when I played Banjo-Kazooie, but she was totally going to ug out your sister. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, unfortunately, it's got a lot of uh, cinematic gold, if you will. Mumbo robbing me. Nintendo promoting gambling. <laughs> Wait. Where's she buying birdseed? There's no other buildings for like five miles. Oh. Dick move, Kazooie. Dick move. <laughs> Bottle's so dumb. Kazooie's such a dick. I actually saw that there's a Game Boy Advance game in this series. Ha! Oh, Grunty's Revenge? Oh, I'd forgotten all about it. It looks really, really terrible. I might beat it for the lulls sometime. It's set between these two timelines. Because you're going to find out in a minute here that she's going to scooch her ass from underneath the rock. She's going to get on out of there. And, uh, Grunny's Revenge, there's like a robot built of her and her soul goes into it or some stupid crap. Oh, these, lo these rocks look so collapsible. Oh no, this rock wall is collapsing. How can it be? <gasps> a metal phallic object, no. <laughs> There's bottles. Twerk a lurkin. So stupid. He's a mole and he doesn't understand seismic activity. Am I the only one catching the irony there? <laughs> Mama, that's just because you're drunk. No, nah, man, no. Just, just let whatever that is kill you all. It's fine. Don't look. Why bother? <laughs> the cinema's so long. I gotta give them props. They put a lot more into this game. I'm not gonna say more effort than the other one, because that was in a different time, you know? They had a couple more years to hash this out. Four or five, I think, actually. I think the other one was 96, and this one was uh, 2001, it said. So they had a long time to sharpen up. And they took advantage. The color green is always bad at Banjo Kazooie, just so you know. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> she has such a bitchy voice. <laughs> Love Elder. <laughs> Tubby sister. <laughs> Why would Grunty be angry? She's been trapped under a rock for two years. Where the hell have you been? She's got to be pissed by now. Well, why the extra five minutes would make her bad? 
Go scope it out, Mumbo. Be cool. Third. <laughs> well, it's, it's fair to be scared. Remember, there are giant sentient vegetables all over this valley. <laughs> you can get crushed by a big ass carrot in the night. Hope Banjo's a vegetarian because it'd be so easy to just live off the land here. You just go out and murder something and eat its broccoli or cauliflower body for a few months. Mumbo's so serious. Yeah, you failed! It's a normal rock, man! It's not magical, it's not enchanted! Get a pickaxe, for God's sake! Or a drill, they had a drill. Instead, they're doing spell crap. God, you had a drill machine! This cinema's ruining my life. Watch Grunty's name in the spell. <gasps> Look at Blob Elda. <laughs> a weird ass thing she's holding. <gasps> Whoa, magic. Gone Rock has. So out, you can come. Calm down, Fat Yoda. Oh! Little worse for wear. Wait. You wouldn't decompose that much in two years. <laughs> you got jacked up. <laughs> Sisters are such bitches. <laughs> oh, your eyeball. What? <laughs> what? So back to our castle we must go. Totally, Yoda. Falling asleep with boredom. Oh god. That's right, it's not good. Me better go tell Banjo. Me, 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 me. Leave the bony man alone, no! Oh shit. Oh shit, she's gonna come a mea. Run, Mumbo! Run for your life! Dive! <laughs> Everybody's chilling here. Ah, oh, bottles, let's sweat the details. Money's money. <laughs> he said gasp out loud. Pant! Quick, grunty coming! Exasperated breath. I cannot miss. Let's see that very full dodge this! <laughs> I love her eyes. Well, not two heads, but two sisters. Things are so intense, but the pacing is so slow. God. Bottles, you're so stupid! Ugh. Damn it, Bottles, you idiot! Sigh. Poor stupid Bottles. I apologize, the beginning of this game is a little cinema heavy. I think this is about half of what you see in the first few hours, though, this one. Uh, good on them, though. You know, it's, it's quality and all that jazz. No, hey. Creep through and leave. Destroy area. They will. Why? There's no Banjo here. You thought you killed him. What's the point? And where would Banjo hide if he broke out? His house is in, like, a little cone. There's nowhere to go if you go through the front door. You're, you're in plain sight. <sighs> no, Glungo. Oh, 
Oh. Mungo's the only person that would sleep with you, and you just send him away. Oh, Dr. Pepper. You make the world taste better. <clears throat> oh, sorry, dead people. <clears throat> Let's see how we did. Oh, man! My house is only one room. That's all I had. You know how hard it is to rebuild that without thumbs? Really, that word we hide. And also, Banjo and Kazooie kind of share a living space. Is there anything weird happening there? Just wondering. Super sad. Poor dumb bottles. I think I'll name this episode that. Poor dumb bottles. I like the ring to it. Oh. This game gets dark so fast. The other game was so innocent and sweet. And this one just st straight up bottles or boggles bin. Bingo is dead. I loved him. I will call him Boggles. They still talking? <clears throat> Mumbo, see you later. Great, I get to pack some more witch butt. Let's go, Banjo. <laughs> Such slow talkers, Jesus. Not going to be so easy this time. Where does your little six-year-old sister live at night with you, by the way? There's no house for miles, and she is like six or eight or something. Super depressed. All right, welcome, guys. Here's a little gameplay. Yeah! All right, end the video. <laughs> no. Oh. I was knocked off the barbecue and ended up rather <laughs> to this rather weighty boulder. <laughs> you can hardly breathe. I have a feeling the boulder's not the problem there. <sighs> All right, here's the valley. Same one from the first one, but as you can see, it is jacked. Uh, there's not too much to it. We'll be leaving it pretty quick. It's not last like last time where there were several honeycombs. There's just a stupid Klungo, and that's about all it's got. It's the only neighborhood amenity. Oh, we need to stock up on stuff. Yeah, eggs come in little packs now, isn't that awesome? <sighs> oh, crap, sleepy. Oh, mm. <clears throat> Yeah, we should grab some stuff. There's some gold feathers. Ah, duh. Okay. It's over there, is that? Just health, yeah. Yeah. There's a secret up there. That's a later thing. There's a lot of later stuff in Spiral Mountain. Uh, we can... Hmm. Let's go get some red feathers. That's what we need to do. By the way, those boxes are empty. I'm going to save you all the trouble in the world by telling you about all the dumb things. Photo op! Ooh, yoink! That mole is, uh, Bottles 2.0. Obviously. It says cousin or uncle or something. Who cares? So, yeah, you have all your old moves from the first one, and all sorts of brand new moves come into the mix. Which, yeah, good and bad, you know? Like I complained in the last one, this game's more intricate and involved and complex in every kind of cool way. But it's not as easy and or fun to speedrun. Well, I don't know about fun, but it's not as easy to speedrun. It's just not as one-dimensional, you know? It's not just linear times a thousand. There we go. Here's what's in her lair, if you were wondering. My favorite music in the game. Oh yeah. Cheeto. She ripped out his pages. He's all bummed. <laughs> in the last game. Badger likes to knock on the fourth wall here and there. You know, it's what he does. Yeah, so every five pages he gives us some good nonsense. Uh, and we can snag this. Whoop. If you remember from our last adventure, uh, Mumbo's Mountain was behind this angry looking mouth. And the rest of the lair was behind this pile of rocks. Oh, and our first Jiggy was right up here. Oh boy, field right. 
Whew, be strong. Be strong. Do it for the fans. Oh, I'm actually getting Tyrium. <laughs> I'm buying my own fake story. I'm gonna wipe my eyes. I'm get emotional. Uh, I think that's all there is to it right now. There's some other stuff to come back to later. What's that waterfall all about? I do not remember a lot about this game, so there's <laughs> not going to be a lot of sarcasm here. I really don't know what this waterfall's about. <laughs> Uh, okay, I have no idea. What? Uh, dude! That's one of those back-of-the-day stop-and-swap things. Um, yeah, BK, Banjo-Kazooie. So back in the day, um, basically, you would get to an area like this, and you had to, like, turn off Banjo, and you, uh, Banjo-Tooie, and you had ten seconds to put in Banjo-Kazooie, or vice versa? and you could get an awesome secret. The problem was, and this is messed up, they updated the Nintendo 64 um, hardware, firmware, etc. over time. And with the newer version of the Nintendo 64, um, you only had one second to do it, just because of how more, I don't know, efficient the RAM was or what have you. Something in the hardware changed. So stop and swap became useless. And the new Xbox Live arcade versions, though they're mostly identical, Stop and Swap's been implemented again and works properly, which is really cool. So that's fun. Alrighty, so let's uh, follow the drill machine and get right to some plot and some stuff. And worlds and what have you. They added boss music. Super cool. And they added bosses. Double cool! Here's Klungo looking angsty as fuck, like always. <laughs> yep, that was me. <laughs> oh, no! He's so sad. He grew up in a poor neighborhood. Uh oh, he's potting up! Oh, Mega Clungo! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Acha! <laughs> really underwhelming, that face. I, I was I was muting the microphone to cough. That's not fair. Eh. Shrug. Come on, you can get me. Put your back into it. You gotta want it. Any day now. Whenever you're ready. Come on, Klungo. <laughs> Did I get him? What the F? No kidding! That's crazy! Again, not sarcasm. I, I did this in a practice run, and instead of growing giant when he drank the potion, he was splitting. He split into two Klungos, and I'd hit, you know, if you hit the real one, he goes to shield up, and then three, and then four. What the hell? I'm so serious! That's really amazing! I kinda threw a little RNG in there or something. I don't think it's be uh, between playthrough things. Uh, it's just... You fight him multiple times. So I think every time you fight him, maybe they roll the dice or something. That's kinda fun. Yeah, mix it up on old Klungo. Alright, right in a new territory. We're not in Grunty's Lair, we're off in the world doing stuff. Check this out. Jinjo Village. Look at the majestic home of the Jinjos. Ooh! That's a teleporter. These beautiful, majestic... Oh god, what happened to the gray ones? <laughs> Sweet Jesus, no! Can I read it? Eat. Get up. Thanks. Memory of the great Jinjo family. Oh, So sad. But, uh, anywho, um, this run's probably gonna be a bunch of parts and be really sloppy. I'll try my best to show you all the secrets and what have you. I think there are nine, uh, living Jinjo families. Got, uh, white and yellow, that's two. 
Three, four, five, six, which is green, red, orange, black. Uh, that is, like, brown, I think. It's not quite red. Purple, blue. So that's, um... Ten. Yeah. Now let's hit up this nonsense right here. Talk to this feller. He's got some words to chirp at us. And don't worry, by the way, I'm still gonna beat Earthbound. But I love this series, and I just feel like having a couple game series going at once. So here we are. Here's King Dingle Jingle uh, Pingling. <laughs> Sup, dog? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Peeps were scared off. Sad day. I like his weird squeaky thing. I'd love to have a pet one of those. Because I don't think it has legs or arms. That would be really easy to take care of. Oh, shit. What's he saying? Uh... Okay. Here's a jiggy. Rescue my folks. Oh, it's got arms. Or stubby little tumors on its front body. Jika wicka wicka. Alright. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh. Show us the way, King Dingaling. It's hard some of the load screens get that uh, staticky crackly noise. I do not intend for that at all, and I do apologize. But anywho, at least we know where we're going. <laughs> Weird glitches. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. This game just doesn't emulate perfectly. Eh, is what it is. Because ah! <laughs> who agreed with this strange pet thing being <laughs> Jimmy Wiggy? <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, more cinemas. Alright, I'm gonna stretch. <gasps> oh boy. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, down at the back. How many hours have I been playing this game? Mm. 22 minutes. Feels like days. I think on part two we can get right to the action, though. We'll have a lot of the cinema stuff out of the way. Part two should just about start on the first world, so not too bad. I love this. Time I lack. What's the plan to get my body back? You ready for this? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it or we will not tell. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome part of this game. The rhyming gets shut down and stopped for good. That's the big o' blaster. Is this what they were doing for two years? Did they know ahead of time that she was immediately a skeleton? Maybe if they had saved her on day one, she wouldn't be a skeleton, and they wouldn't have had to use two years to make the machine? Hmm. You think Klungo could just, like, you know, make a phone call and <laughs> get rid of some of this trouble? You were fat, so quite a while. <laughs> Ooh, calm down. Ooh, saucy. Shut up, La Belda. Mom and Dad never liked you. <gasps> Jingling, no! He's the Jinga King of the Jingalos! Uh, Ingle, uh, Jingle, mmm, <clears throat> Jinjos. No! Jingling! There's a lot of cool stuff going on, but I think we're definitely still gonna call the episode Poor Dumb Bottles. Any day now, Blah Belda. You fat hoe. Uh oh. Uh oh! The badness, the badness! Oh. Much more story driven, this one. The other one had a story, but it was very straightforward, and there was just the one cinema at the first. 
and you just did your own thing the rest of the entire time. So this one really goes cinematical with it. Like here, you know, like a, a, a house of the Jinjos is dead, and their king has been raided. <gasps> Zombied. The Jinga King. Dun, dun, dun. See that? That's like a quarter of her life force. Do you understand that? Let's blast the whole island. This we can do, but big charge up B.O.B. will need. They, they could have just used the machine for 30 minutes and she would have a body back. Instead, she's like, well, it worked great on one house. Let's do it on the entire island. Seriously? You can have a body in like 30 minutes. Also, why is her clothing under her rib cage? That bothers the crap out of me. You should see her spine and then the clothing on the spine, but instead it's straight ribs and... Does this mean she had cleavage beforehand? I don't know. Uh... The king's a zombie. <laughs> We're pretty bummed about that. Moving right along. Let's try to scooch up to the first world before we end this thing. Oh, by the way, prediction? I think I will 100% this game in... I'm gonna say 12 hours. Anyway, here is their sad little house. Uh, the last one I uh, looked, it was 7 hours and 12 minutes. It was final time on Banjo-Kazooie. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in their house, but... I'd like to make it so that even if you just come along for the ride and it's fun and it's a joke, you can still see where all the secrets are and stuff, too. For a dual purpose for telling you what's what and where everything is. That's another of their games, by the way. I can't remember the name. Agent something? Something Force? Agent Force? There's a poor sad kid. He'll talk to you about the football tournament and stuff, and it's really depressing. And they're like, does your team have any substitutes? And he's like, why would we need any? My dad's the best on the team. And you're like, <laughs> uh, I am Jiggy Wiggy. I have a very cool voice. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you. Again, let's get straight to it. Uh, by the way, that's secret stuff for later. Giant egg for special eggs. We don't have special eggs. We also passed another secret previously. I don't have the skill to get up to it. It was in the Jinjo Village area. I'll show you it later. Hello! Hey! Okay. Uh, e uh, mm -hmm. Can I please in now? To prove yourself, you must collect images in the form of Jiggy Wiggy. <laughs> Familiar as fuck. Yep, I have one. I know, I'm real prepared. Things are gonna get all religious now. It's a shiny floor. Sup, dog? Ooh, I'm chosen. Yep. Okay. Alright. Can you let me do that, please? Thank ya! Now, I apologize. This is one video error I can't find a fix for. And I don't really want to bother with how much digging it would probably take to fix. There might not be one. Yeah, you can see this puzzle you're supposed to do is a little bit distorted. There's, uh... All, there are like 16 little black holes, and the right column is just solid black when it's filled in. So, nothing I can do about it that I want to bother with. <laughs> really, though, I don't, I don't know that there's a fix, to be honest with you. So whatever, man, we're just going to work with it. We're going to have fun. That's all there is. Boop! Done! I feel bad, because the puzzles are fun. It's cool that they move and stuff. But whatever. Let's just fire a space Kamehameha. That'll make you feel better. Uh, those question mark signs give you hints and tips and stuff later, by the way. Right now they won't tell you anything. I don't even know when they start telling you stuff. It just, it just says, later these will have info.
Get any day now. It goes straight into the sky, but this world is like right next door. <laughs> A lot of wasted light beam travel. There we go. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Wom. Good job. Proud of you. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go stand in front of that door and then get to end this part. Thanks. Yep. I know. I'm great. Okay. Bye. You just need four and then eight. After the first world, I'll be able to uh, unlock the next two. Really easy to get ahead. Here we are. We're in front of the first world, the Mayhem Temple, Maya, Mayhem Temple, something like that. But yeah, this is broken. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, whatever. You know what YouTube's all about. And I will catch you on the next one. I look forward to it. Have a good one. Bye.